most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long, and it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started, and we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. The stands here, the Corva, as the locals call them, make for quite an impressive sight, all in support of the grand old lady of the Italian game. Well, if you did just miss it, they are up and running already. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Jan Oblak. He's not someone you often see pulling off spectacular saves, but that's about the highest compliment you can give a goalkeeper because it speaks to his positioning and his organisational abilities. He's just about the best there is when it comes to, to claiming crosses and high balls into the box too. And is just the kind of presence that spreads a, a composure and a confidence to his defence and throughout the team. Yes, they'll certainly be leaning heavily on him. Admire in the run and the defending, and the counter is on. Royce plays it out to the wing. Right towards the front men. Oh, good interception. That's great strength on the ball. Jordi Alba. No efforts on target is acceptable if levels of enthusiasm and energy are good, and they're not. Saul looks to clip it forward, tries to get it clear. That's a throw. And here's Moses. Danger averted for now. Cross. And that has been cleared. Saul. It's on a real chance! Battles to win it back. Juventus are experts at this stylish possession-based game. Well, we're talking tiki-taka. Uh, a lot of short, crisp passing, and, and once the ball is lost, they quickly try to win it back. A really good feat from him. Ball's out on the left now. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Chance to break. Saul. Ali. Jordi Alba. Tries to get some whip on it. And he's there to clear it. Now it's Ali. Long 
until half time, and it is still goalless. Well played, he saw that coming. Benucci. Jordi Alba. Now it's Ali. Now the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. And the weighted pass. He's had a look. He's blown his whistle for half time. So the other team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Well, they look lost for ideas and, and lacking in talent, which all contributes to a, a chronic case of impotence. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil. Here we go again, then. East Kilbride can be very glad that half-time came when it did. Poor possession and very little firepower means they need a serious pickup in this second half. No guts, no glory. Looks to dink one in. And it's Junior Caesar. Time to deliver. Knocks one in. Great lead! can get it clear Goodmanson oh real chance a reprieve albeit perhaps momentary no complaints about that challenge robust but fair Tries lifting it over and it's got through corner Goodmanson desperately wants to get on the end of this. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And he certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. And that's going to be a booking. pretty much the end of that forward it goes nice to get it forward quickly it's been intercepted and that will come to nothing Benucci Jordi Alba drives it forward. Juventus really are defending from the front. They are, and this type of pressing is a, a case of counter-attacking a counter-attack. It's high octane and high pressure, high fitness. It's Goodmanson. Goodmanson plays it forward. Going for goal! In it goes! The breakthrough arrives at last! 
That was easy, almost too easy. Yeah, I really can't say enough as to how good the final ball was. It took the defence out of the equation for that split moment, and the damage was all done. Juventus have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. East Kilbride take the lead, 1-0. Yeah, I had a feeling this was coming. Still, there's a fair bit of time if you're going to think about defending it now. Junior Kaisara. Hoists it forward. Moses. Close up, attempt to clearance. That's what has to be done now, no question about it. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Just has to be done. He's got options out wide. Saul in towards the middle up to meet it oh, just needed a better contact well being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches Sankara. Close up. Bonucci. Bonucci gets it out to the wing. East Kilbride leading here by this still precarious 1 0 margin. Adrian, and it's Jordi Alba, could cross it here, Juventus are definitely not going down without a scrap, their attitude just can't be faulted. And it's played forward, knocks it away, and it's been taken straight back, gets into some space. Crosses into the box. Juventus to make one last surge forward. It is just a question of running down the clock now. Moses delivers. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. Juventus have a simple task to find something sustained now and keep the pressure on. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Look, their supporters must be going barmy about this because there's no sense of purpose in what we're seeing. Saul goes looking. That intervention was very necessary. Sankara. So that's it. It is all over. East Kilbride, hold on. It's a narrow squeak. Bit of luck, some judgment. 1-0 the score at the final whistle. Well, this game looked to have nil-nil written all over it, but credit to them. They upped their game in the end, and I thought they got what they deserved. So before we go, many thanks to Jim Beglin for his input and from us both, good afternoon.